Hey down, this is Dave Desai. Today I want to get into Jungkook leaving Qatar very quickly and what seemed to have happened while he was there. Several clips came out and it made some fans scared for Jungkook's safety. I also want to get into Suga talking about how there will be no more BTS in the future. So, hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. We're having Zumblin, Taste Blink Mug merch, and let's get into it. BTS is no doubt one of the most worldwide and famous groups, but also very original and different. I think there's a very few notable huge groups at that level of BTS that is similar to another artist. A lot of artists start out being compared to another artist as the next Justin Bieber or the next whatever and this is great for the beginning part of their career. Ariana Grande was called the next Mariah Carey but as we can see she is nothing like Mariah. However giving Ariana that title enabled her to get her foot into the door and be accepted widely in the beginning before carrying out her own niche. Basically people weren't going to give her a chance unless it was something that they were already familiar with. I think the two newer groups coming from Hive and Hype and NTXT were also heavily compared to BTS and said that they will be the next BTS even though their styles are widely different from BTS. But I think being compared initially is what helped them get the initial spark to jumpstart everything. BTS was even compared to groups like Big Bang in the beginning and BTS leaned into that with a more hip-hop sounding first album and then they eventually did their own thing. Comparisons are not bad is what I am getting at here but rarely ever paints the whole story. Since the news of BTS enlisting in the military and doing more solo work, which I will talk about in a little bit, people have been writing who will be the next BTS. I think it's a much more catchy headline to write instead of who will be the next global star. But Suga actually responded to such claims a while back when asked who they will think is going to be taking over BTS when BTS decides to retire or just fade out of the spotlight, similar to how many artists do when they get older. Suga had an awesome response to this saying, I doubt that a second BTS will ever exist. For me, I've had many artists that I look up to and wanted to be like, but I ended up becoming a member of BTS. I hope that great artists appear in the future because I think that's more important and cooler than having another BTS. I 100% agree with this answer. I think if the world had just cut and pasted every popular artist that existed in history, we'd literally be listening to the same sound and the same style for over 100 years or however long pop culture has existed. There are sounds that have come back into trend from the 90s or 80s, but are then remade in another style by newer artists. BTS has often taken inspiration from older music as well. I honestly cannot wait to see what the new global star will be. It could be another K-pop star or it may even not be K-pop. J-pop could have a round or Chinese pop, although less likely Chinese pop. Both K-pop and J-pop have been ruminating and cultivating a cult following for decades now and it always happens like that. Years of a cult following and then things being underground will suddenly catch a big break. So just food for thought. Of course, it could also not even be a group and the quote-unquote next BTS could just just be one of the members of BTS. I think Harry Styles has kind of matched the success, if not superseded the success of One Direction. And I think each member of BTS has the ability to do that as well. Jungkook is believed to currently be on his schedule to release some solo work. People recently just saw him fly out to Qatar and given the schedule that BTS allegedly has with the World Cup, people made their connection that Jungkook is flying out to perform or rehearse to perform there. The theory seems to be very wrong as we now have have new information. Jungkook was seen on the street dancing and it was believed initially that he was rehearsing for the performance. I assumed it was like a little two-step here and there and he was just walking around Qatar. You know what I mean? Like rehearsing as he was just going about his day. But after seeing some of the photos and stuff, I realized that it was full-on dancing with what appeared to be backup dancers. Apparently someone was recording and fans recorded Jungkook on set. Jungkook even took a moment to wave at everyone. People were screaming sasang for soccer fans as how did everyone know that Jungkook would be there? I have several thoughts on this. Jungkook was spotted at the airport by reporters. These reporters were likely called by a PR team or specifically Jungkook's team. PR often calls paparazzi or reporters so the idol can get more press. The only reason I believe that, the only reason that I believe that is because both Jin and Jungkook who arrived at the airport the other day were both camera ready. Jin also arrived at the airport coincidentally with a new stuffed plushie that he was promoting that is not out yet but needs hype. You can definitely argue that they knew that the cameras would be there so they just got ready and was ready to promote stuff. However, when they're on their personal schedule or flying for themselves, we don't get reporters or video clips. V was alleged to fly to Jeju to have fun with his friend a little while ago and there were no reporters at Jeju. 
it was just V posting about Jeju and then some fans or flight crew mentioning that they saw V. The reason I bring this up is because the fandom gets so mad when reporters appear at the airport, but it's something that the idols are usually expecting. And this was not a personal or private schedule. All the videos and clips coming out of Jungkook dancing and filming in Qatar came online and people were yelling saying that it was a personal schedule and that these fans are stalkers. That makes no sense to me. It was already public knowledge that Jungkook would be going to Qatar and then someone like BTS or Jungkook is bound to draw attention. Jungkook probably wasn't just going to be filmed somewhere for three seconds. He'd be there for a while, which would be way more than enough time to draw a crowd and a crowd full of army. What I will say is more of a stalker or Sesson behavior thing is that for some reason Jungkook's hotel did get leaked and I think I understand how it happened. It would be fairly easy for someone to go from shoot to follow Jungkook's car to his hotel or even easier if the hotel staff happened to leak it themselves. All of this I would categorize as stalker behavior. We should not know what hotel a celebrity is staying in and this I would imagine would have caught Jungkook off guard a little bit. There was a video going around where he came out of the alleged hotel and into his car. This was likely after the shoot and he was believed to be heading to the airport. He probably showered and then left. He rushed into the car and he did end up waving to everyone there but he did it behind the glass so it was more difficult to see but you could see it. The people waiting there were chanting Jungkook's name. This is not a great thing as I mentioned but definitely not too bad as no one entered the hotel or touched Jungkook. The issue that people were having is that someone could have ended up finding Jungkook's room and breaking in and all that. However, if these people found out about Jungkook and where he was staying from just following his car, they would have no way to get to Jungkook's exact room before he packed up and got into his car. Another theory as to why he would definitely be okay would be even if for some reason a random person entered the hotel and no one stopped them, it was rumored that Hybe often rents out the entire floor for BTS members at hotels. This gives them an opportunity to spread out and more importantly, block out the whole floor. This way, not a single other person would need to enter that floor and if someone else did, secretly they would be able to catch them right away. But not a single person would need to enter that floor and if someone else did, security would be able to catch them right away. A lot of hotels nowadays, especially higher end ones, will have key card elevators where you need to scan your room key just to get the elevator moving. Another reason why this could be less of a concern is even if a stalker happened to bypass all of that and got onto the floor, they would have to break into every room on that floor. Most hotels have upwards of 10 rooms per floor, sometimes a lot more than that. So if breaking into one room doesn't take too much time, breaking into 10 would. And at that point, are there no security persons that exist or cameras that see a random person break in their doors? I think for the most part, even the people who should definitely not know where Jungkook's hotel is still didn't disrespect Jungkook's privacy or anything like that. Specifically knowing which hotel he is staying at doesn't violate privacy, but more so what they plan on doing with that information. Jungkook didn't seem too mad and he left safely, which is the most important thing. But what do you think about all this? Do you think Jungkook had to rush out over safety concerns? And did his hotel get broken into? And what do you think about Suga mentioning that there will be no more of this new BTS talk? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.